What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's time to do another retro review. I haven't done one for a while and I sat down and I watched King of the Ring 1994 and what a show it was for getting. There are some hidden gems on this show. I forgot all about them. I forgot about how good this show actually was. We don't talk about it often enough when we talk about King of the Rings. We think about Brett's one in 93. We think about Austin winning it in 96. We barely talk about Owen Hart and how great of a king he was and how great this King of the Ring tournament was. And the matches as well, outside of the King of the Ring tournament, are pretty decent too. We've got a Bloodline match. We've got a world title match. We've got Piper versus the King. Let's talk about the... Um, the King of the Ring tournament itself. They kicked it off with Razor Ramon, Bam Bam Bigelow, two guys that could have gone on favourites, in my opinion, to win this whole damn thing. Bam Bam. I felt sorry for Bam Bam. I've got to say, going back and looking at his career back in the WWF during this time, they could have been, he could have been used as a monster hill, challenging for the main titles, for the world title, definitely. Uh, he, he was stuck in feuds with Doink the fucking Clown. And he loses to Razor Ramon here. Decent opener. I enjoyed it. Razor Ramon gets the win. Catching Bam Bam on the top rope. Power bombs him off that. One, two, three. And he moves on to the next round. Urban R. Scheister defeated Mabel. That was a bit of a shocker. Remember Mabel, men on a mission? We laugh at them now. But actually, if you go back and watch, you forget that like, the crowd react, reacted to men on a mission. They really did. They were over. Um, but in ring, yeah. Once once the music stopped and Oscar stopped rapping, yeah, it was all over for Mabel pretty much. Erwin oh, Arshyster gets the win. Underhanded tactics, of course, but got that win. And moves on to face Razor Ramon in the next round. Owen Hart to Tanka, probably the best match, in my opinion, of the first round. Went eight minutes. Um, really enjoyed it. Could have gone either way, but Owen Hart could, picked up a good win here against Tatanka. Then we've got a one, two, three kid against Jeff Jarrett. Upset at the first round. One, two, three kid defeats Jeff Jarrett. Um, a pissed off Jeff Jarrett. Takes it out on the one, two, three kid. Beats the hell out of him after the match. And leaves him laying. And we're wondering, can the one, two, three kid continue in the tournament? Owen Hart's his opponent in the next round. And maybe Owen Hart smiling from ear to ear after what Jeff Jarrett done to him. And then we get the champion versus champion match. The Intercontinental Champion Diesel. Only a year ago, a year ago, he was the he was turning up as the bodyguard for Shawn Michaels, and here he is, Intercontinental Champion, and challenging for the world title. Long gone are the days of Vinny Vegas, Oz, and all of that crap they had to go through in WCW. Now, fast forward to 1994, and here he is. He's in the main event picture, the world title picture. He's the Intercontinental Champion. Shawn Michaels is in his corner now. And he beats Bret Hart. Okay, Jim Neidhart gets involved for reasons we learn later on. Costs Bret Hart the match. DQ. But it was a good match. And I've got to say, every time you see Diesel and Bret Hart in a match, it's Diesel's best match. It really is. Bret Hart brought the best out of Kevin Nash. No one can deny that. Even Kevin Nash says the same. This was a decent match. I really enjoyed it. And then we get Razor Ramon, Owen Arshaita in the semi-finals. Um, I've got to say, King of the Ring was so much better when they had to go through multiple matches on one night. This bullshit they do now is a joke. This is what it should be. Three matches in one night to be crowned the best. Forget the other ones, man. This was it. Erwin Arshaisto loses to Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon, you, you knew he was beating Erwin Arshaisto. You knew he was going on to the finals. Um, match I really did enjoy. Probably one of the best matches of this whole damn show. Owen Hart versus the one, two, three kid. This is a hidden gem. Really is. Yeah, okay, it only lasts three minutes. I, I wish this could have gone a lot longer, but there was a story involved. One, two, three kid got their hell beaten out of him by Jeff Jarrett. Many of us didn't think at the time that he would be able to come out the commentating team and let's say about them the better Art Donovan on commentary along with Gorilla Monsoon and Macho Man they did their best to ignore Art Donovan for the whole night Art Donovan was like someone who'd never watched wrestling before honestly he was sitting there making all sorts of comments and why why he was even on the show when they realised what was going on why didn't they just drag him off 
I don't know, but anyway, let's go back to the Owen Hart and the one, two, three kid. What a match that was. Three minutes, okay, but it could have gone a lot longer, should have been, but the story was there. One, two, three kid was injured. Owen Hart gets the win by submission, a sharpshooter. But what they did do was fantastic. You've got to go and see it. If anything, just go and watch that three minutes of that. Absolutely classic. Then, straight after, you get the OGs of the bloodline. The head shrinkers, the tag team champions at the time, defending their titles against Crush. Okay, they said the better. But one of the head of the table, Yokozuna, the OG head of the table, along with Jim Cornette and Master Fuji. Um, Lex Luger gets involved, unfortunately, and ruins this whole fucking match. It was really going well. And for some reason, Lex Luger comes out and just ruins the whole damn thing. Crush gets distracted. Super kick, one, two, three. Head shrinkers are still the tag team champs. We finish with Crush and Lex Luger brawling. Just ruin the whole damn thing. Fuck off, Lex Luger. Um, King of the Ring finals. Owen Hart defeated Razor Ramon. Thanks to Jim the Anvil Neidhart. We find out that he's in colludes. He's in cohesion. He's in cahoots with Owen Hart. And Owen wins the, tight, and wins the King of the Ring. Thanks to Jim the Anvil Neidhart. And yeah. I love the ceremony afterwards. The best ceremony they've ever done, apart from maybe Austin's. Um, this was fantastic. He, his first proclamation is that he will be now known as the King of Hearts. Owen Hart, not the Rocket anymore. It's the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts. And, yeah, brilliant. And I wish they would have just ended this show here. Instead, we get Roddy Piper versus Jerry Lawler. Pathetic match in the end. I'm sorry, these two have seen far better days. This match would have been far better back in the 80s. But they're showing it now in 1994. And it was entertaining enough, but you knew from minute one who's winning this match, even back then. As an 11 year old, I knew. There's no way Roddy Piper's losing to Jerry the King Lawler. Jerry the King Lawler won very little, ma very few matches as a heel at this time. He was pretty much getting his ass kicked every fucking time. Um, you knew he wasn't winning. That was the whole thing. That was the whole problem with Jerry Lawler. He was very entertaining as a heel. But he rarely won a match. Um, other than that, main event, and it should have been Owen Hart main event in the King of the Ring. Um, I'm winning it. But other than that, it was a really entertaining show. I enjoyed going back and watching it. If you want to, I suggest you do. It's one of the better King of the Rings, in my opinion. Really enjoyable. And let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.